Good morning, world. Morning, guys. So, our last few hours here mm -hmm. in Trileu. It is a travel day. We continue yeah. onwards. Right now, we've been traveling along coastal Patagonia. And yep. tonight, we're going to be cutting across to the mountains. Ooh, yeah, we're, yeah, we're basically heading from the furthest part east to west. West, yes. So it's literally just across across the country. We're staying within the same province, which is kind of fascinating. Yeah. It's uh, Shibut. 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 It is a massive province. So yeah, the other day we bought our bus tickets. We are going from Treleu to Esquel. Yeah. It is a nine-hour journey, I think they told us. Yeah, I think we board our bus at 9 p.m., arrive at 6 in the morning. Yeah. So we have the whole day to kill. So actually what we're going to be doing is going back to Gaiman. That's going to be a different video, a video mm -hmm. that comes out before this. If you've been paying attention to our oh channel, my. you've already watched it. Cool. But um, yeah, so before we leave here though, we'll give you an apartment tour of our place. Yes. So you guys got a little sneak peek of the apartment on yeah. the day we arrived. Now yeah. full tour. Is this the biggest place we've had? Yes, a two bedroom apartment. Yeah. You know what, when we were looking at on booking.com, mm -hmm. there was literally a doll, one US dollar more a day to have a second bedroom. And it turned out to be great because we ended up sleeping in separate bedrooms. So yes. I got a great sleep. Sam got his own room. It's <laughs> so nice. <laughs> so nice to have your own bed. Oh man. Okay. Okay, where are we now? So What's we are this? this is this is I guess the, the living slash dining room. Um, this table was fantastic. We did all of our work and had all of our breakfasts here. Yeah, and tried Cheers. uploading videos to YouTube and failed oh, yeah. with the Wi-Fi oh my here. Gosh, it was so sad. We, we were uploading a video last night and it was like, I don't know, probably been uploading for like 14 hours, but we're not going to quite be able to finish it. So we had to yeah. cancel the whole thing. Gotta try again yeah. next time. The, the internet hasn't been amazing in this part no. of Patagonia. I have to no. Go. Anyways. Living um, area. Back to the tour. So yeah, we got a nice comfortable couch. Oh, this, it, it's crazy how the weather changed. We went from like having impossibly hot weather to like, like almost like a taste of the middle of fall slash winter. So we actually have been turning this Turn on, on the, the morning heater. To, it's a gas it's, heater. Because it's seven, it's been seven degrees in the morning. Yeah. And there's no, like there's no, technically no central heating in here. So mm -hmm. these, these heaters. So we've had to turn it on. Got a TV, which we never ever use. I'm going to show you guys the view. It's not amazing. It's just a residential neighborhood. Yeah. Some houses, trees, but the one buildings. Thing, the one thing that I like about this place is that it was quiet. It's down yes. a quiet street. And also it was fairly centrally located, which has been awesome. We yes. walked walk to everything we wanted to eat or do. Okay, let's continue. Let's continue. So coming in here. Kitchen. We have a nice space. It's kitchen. We utilize the um, kettle, kettle a lot. And the coffees. microwave. That's and about microwave. it. So it's a world for empanadas and stuff. Yeah, just a super standard kitchen, fridge. I mean, they had everything we needed. We had a wine opener, which is always essential. Oh yeah. <laughs> I always have to make sure we're not leaving ours behind. Yeah. They left us little mini muffins every morning and coffee and tea. So that was nice of them to you do that. You know what's weird? Here in Argentina, you can get coffee yeah. in like in tea bags. bags. In yeah. coffee bags? I don't yeah. know. You know what else I find strange in Argentina that I don't love? Is that most of the instant coffee that you buy here is mixed with sugar. Mm -hmm. It's so hard to find one that isn't. The only one I've been able to find is Nescafe. So if you guys know of a brand that doesn't add sugar to the instant coffee, please let me let know. Sam know. I still haven't found it. Okay. okay. So continuing on. This is the bathroom. Bathroom. Um, super, super standard bathroom. It's a little wet at the moment, but yeah. bidet. Toilet. Toilet. With the, with the flush system up there. Flusher. The flusher. <laughs> and yeah, just a shower, sink. You get the idea. Let's yeah, not yeah, linger yeah. too long in there. So this would be the master bedroom. Master bedroom. AKA my bedroom. Yeah, it's like a, it's like a, it's a, it's a double bed. There's a closet. There's extra blankets, which you'd likely need in the winter. Yeah. Um, but yeah, nice little, nice little room. And here was the second bedroom. So this is, this is where I was sleeping. Oh, so nice. To be fair, there. Sam flip flops between beds. Like you'd have your siesta here, then you'd start sleeping in the other bedroom. Halfway through yeah. the night, you'd come out it's just, here. It's so nice to have options, you know. Options galore. Options galore. So, anyways, guys, what we're doing now is we're going to kill the day in Gaiman, which is a different vlog, and we'll pick things up when we come back from the day trip get our bags, and when we're heading over to the bus station. Okay. So, we'll see you there. See ya!
I could win a Jelly Belly competition. Okay, so we are back in Trelew after a day of yeah. sightseeing. Hello from the future. It is now 6.30. We still have three hours before our bus departs. Yeah. And this is a fantastic little cafe. I guess it's a panaderia. Yeah. It's, called. it's like a bakery. It's just across from our, our the apartment hotel that we stayed at. This is kind of the perfect place for us to hang out, kill a little bit more time. Well, we've arrived. We just saw like the craziest sky. It was like on fire. So beautiful. So beautiful. Po really post just like post sunset blue hour. Yes. Yep. Pretty magical. It was magical but that indeed. That moment is past. <laughs> yeah. So, we're at the bus terminal. We are. My eye is twitching. At the I, bus terminal. I had a twitching eye. I didn't tell you about that. <laughs> what is that? I wonder if what, what is it that we're eating or <laughs> drinking? Um, <laughs> Too much wine. Let's talk about <laughs> the journey to Esquel. Yes. We are traveling with Don Otto again. We've, yeah, again. So a familiar company. They go. Service. They go all the way down, kind of the a a Atlantic coast side of. Yes. Right to the end of Patagonia. For this journey, we paid thirty-six U.S. dollars. So that's the cheapest. The thing. That, overnight bus that's journey. A, that's incredible so for an overnight bus journey because yeah. if you think about it, accommodations on this trip have been I don't know between like say forty and sixty dollars a night. Uh -huh. So it's almost like it's like a a motel or a hotel on wheels okay. <laughs> in terms of price. We can go with that. <laughs> we'll go with that. Huh? Um, so yeah, our bus is going to be leaving at nine thirty p.m. Arriving at Arriving. six, and we contacted our our host and arranged for an early check-in. Oh, yes, they were so nice about it. We're like, can we come at nine a.m. And they were like, yeah, sure, we'll meet you there. Yeah, and before I forget, I wanted to mention that our apartment here was about $50 a night, approximately. And we just loved it. There's like, what, two or three different staff members. We got to know all of them. Such nice people, that, yeah. like chatty, gave us tons of suggestions. When it came time to storing our bags today, they were fantastic to call this a cab. Since we are leaving town, <laughs> would you like to share your impressions? Well. It ended up being the perfect base for us to spend a few days. We had a great time checking out the city. We could come here and, and spend a bit of time in the city, also do day trips. And overall, I'm really glad that we came here. I feel like this place may be a little bit underrated in terms of tourism. And so we're trying to check out some places in Argentina that maybe aren't on the, the typical like gringo trail. Yes. Let's say. This is not the typical Patagonia yeah, itinerary. Exactly. And so it was really cool to come here and just see... I mean, there's, there's no other city that's really been like it in Argentina that I can compare it to. It. So it just had its own kind of distinct feel. It was yeah. a lot of fun. So guys, one thing that I've noticed at basically all of the bus terminals that we've passed through since we arrived in Argentina is a counter called Encomiendas. And every bus company seems to have one and basically they transport goods for you. So people arrive with like boxes and parcels and bags and they write the address of where it's going. They it's pay like a, a DHL, fee. right? Yeah, and it travels by bus without a passenger. Yes. Does that happen in Canada? Can you send uh, things on a bus unaccompanied? I've noticed when drivers have been taking off the parcels yeah. that they bring it into like this kind of a storage room within yeah. the bus terminal that looks quite safe and secure. Yeah. And um, yeah, it looks like they're well set up to, to transport parcels yeah. and bags. And like sometimes we'll stop in these like tiny little dusty outpost towns like there's nothing there and we're just delivering packages yeah it's like, or picking oh, one up or picking one up yeah, yeah. We, we do pick up a lot of packages along the way so yeah if you're traveling here and you see encomiendas that's what that's about that's what it means. does it This is our little snack pack, snack box. Snack box. We have an alfajor, which is kind of like a cookie. With this one fruit, has uh, a con crema. strawberry. 
some biscuits. Savory biscuits. Multigrain. Milk, powdered milk. milk. Sugar. And lots about it. Guys, we thought our snack box was everything. More Ooh, food. More. Little sandwich. Yeah. Pasta frola, which is like a little dessert with quince. And there's a slice of pizza with cheese and oregano over here. Wow, I'm gonna eat that. A box of food. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, world. How did you sleep? <laughs> oh man, it was pretty bad. I mean, yeah. I, I drifted off a little bit, but that was not a solid sleep. I am in zombie mode at the moment. How about you? I feel I feel tired. I did sleep some, but I'm tired. Yeah. Um, oh, I'm yawning like a fool. Yeah, but we're here. We arrived on time. 6.30 a.m. We can't check in until 9, so we're gonna have some breakfast and just hang out here at the station. But it's kind of amazing we can see the silhouettes of the mountains. Yeah. And so we, we know we're surrounded by mountains. Yes. And we saw some trees coming in. And it's so chilly here. Oh, it is. <laughs> but, <laughs> yeah. Had a shiver too since stepping off the bus. I feel like this part of the trip is gonna test my wardrobe. I did, I'm probably gonna need to get some warmer clothes. You know what? We packed for Buenos Aires at the end of January, so we were like, yeah. it's gonna be mid-30s to 40s, well, humidity. I, I, I think our original plan was actually not to come this far south, so maybe... Yeah, we showed up without much of a plan. We yeah. were just like, we're gonna Argentina. The ultimate of winging it. Yeah. So uh, we're winging it with our wardrobe and we may have to get some more clothes. Yeah. Totally forgot to mention, food-wise. Food. We yeah. got breakfast, so we've ordered a toasted uh, ham and cheese sandwich. Yes. Alfajores. For Sam, yes. media lunas for me, cafe con leche, coffee with milk. The grande, the big day. size for me, the medium for you. Yes. Man, I'm just thrilled that this, yeah, this place is open. That we have a place to sit down, yeah. a place to eat. Now question, do you have any advice for people traveling by bus in Argentina? Any tips? Yeah, actually, my, my biggest tip would be to book far enough in advance so that you can get the kama, the fully reclining seats. Mm -hmm. Because we've only been able to get semi kama. This is kind of peak season, peak tourist season. And you get a much better sleep if you if, if you have a more comfortable chair that reclines all the way back. Mm -hmm. That would be my biggest tip. Mine would be bring warm clothes because mm -hmm. the bus can get cold and carry lots of toilet paper because sometimes they run out on the bus and then you get to the bus terminal and there's no toilet paper there either so carry your own oh, that's a good tip Comida de gato? Oh, Maybe not. Like no. You don't like cat food? Are you kidding me? You don't eat cat food? <laughs> you don't eat cat food? <gasps> oh. It's cat food. It's like, I'm a dog. I'm not a cat. I'm a dog? Are you kidding me? Are you insulting me? I eat meat. It, it, it sure loved Media Lunas. When the guy was bringing in the Media Luna tray, it was like, uh huh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you're getting a massage after not eating cat food. You want a massage? Massage. I did not eat cat food, but I like massage. I like massage. Primera vez Argentina? Ah, uh, no, pero primera vez aquí es en que es, Miguel. Es que sí, ¿Qué? muy muy linda vista. ¿Sí? Van a conocer el parque el nacional, sí. Sí. las cascadas, yeah. Trevelin. Yeah, ese es el plan. Ajá. <laughs> Doing 
our groceries for the week. It's the start. Yeah, we got lots of goodies. We're gonna show you what we got, how much we paid. But right now, we're on our way back to our little cottage. We need a little bit of sleep, just a few hours, because we only got two or three last night. Yeah. And we're feeling it. We're feeling it, man. <laughs> My little pet, little meow. We are now going to do show and tell for the groceries we bought this morning. We've since befriended Kitty Cat, who is a wonderful addition to the household. Or a Tukuta Cot. We've said this like a zillion times, but it just came in. It like walked in the door before you even knew who was in here. It's like, yep, I'm gonna be, in. I'm joining the team. All right, groceries. So we like to show you guys what you can get for your mula. So I use the XE app to do all my conversions. Is currently, ooh, 38 US dollars. We did not get a whole lot for 38 US dollars if you ask me. We needed mouthwash. We needed some laundry detergent because we haven't done laundry in a while. I think that was the most expensive item. Yeah, we tried, that was Mouthwash isn't cheap in, in Argentina. Yeah, if you got foreign stuff, it's especially, expensive. Yeah, especially we couldn't find any generic brands. Bag full of Granny Smith apples, mm -hmm. salted almonds, salted peanuts, sunflower seeds. Are they sunflower? Yes, sunflower seeds. We have soda water. Walnuts. Walnuts, a uh, salami. I already two, started eating the salami. Two sticks of meat, a little squirrel kind of packed into here already. Eee, got <laughs> hungry. <laughs> what can I say? Parmesan, a block of hard parmesan cheese. Yes. Olives, peppers, Wine. kiwi, soda water, crackers. You get the idea. We're trying to eat slightly cleaner. I mean, we've been having so many pastries, we just can't handle it anymore. So we're staying away from the bakery, going for seeds, nuts fruits, veggies, we still need to hit up another place that has more produce because the supermarket didn't have a lot of variety. But yeah, that is what we got. This is Kitty Cat once more. I think we're going to end this travel vlog this here. This is the end of our episode. Well, not, not, yeah, now that the three of us are all here oh, and we're having yeah. a good time together, aren't we? Oh yeah. Meowsies, we have eight nights to hang out. Oh, she's feeling shy. <laughs> I think I keep calling it a he. It's did a you girl. Did, did you mention that we fed her earlier? We fed her. We fed. We brought cat food, food, so yes. you're welcome to stay you're the whole time we're here. Too. Anyways, we'll see you guys soon with more videos from this beautiful mountain village, Esken. Ciao, amigos. Mm -hmm.